Well, this is something the White House has been contemplating for some time, with the president initially saying he didn't have the authority to take this kind of action. President Biden stepped down from Air Force One, heading back to the White House last night after attending a political fundraiser. And according to the Associated Press, he'll be joined at the White House today by a group of border state mayors to make this announcement, with his press secretary only saying so much. And you saw this is a president who wants to fix this, who wants to deal with the unbroken immigration system. The White House wouldn't confirm any details, but here's what's been reported by the AP. The plan would shut down asylum claims at the border, but only when the average of illegal crossings exceeds 2,500 a day. The border would then reopen when that average falls to 1,500. It's all about fake messaging for the election. Republicans, as you might imagine, say this doesn't go far enough. And on the left, some of the president's fellow Democrats say it is capitulating to Republican demands. Instead, we should have our own separate pro-order, pro-safety, and pro-immigrant plan. But politically, it may address a real weakness for the president, with just 33 percent of registered voters now approving of his approach. I imagine he's going to get pushback from progressives and from liberals. <laughs> you think? Um, yes, exactly, for, for, you know, a potential asylum. But at the same time, Republicans are going to be saying this is too little, too late. Yeah. And we'll have to see if it makes any dent in his polling, which is really underwater on this issue. And this kind of mirrors some of the immigration orders from former President Trump. And President Biden is likely to face some legal challenges. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.